Commercial Banks In this module, you will understand the meaning of commercial banks, explain the functions of commercial banks, and understand the process of money creation in the economy. A commercial bank is a financial institution engaged in the business of accepting deposits from the public and advancing loans to other people in order to earn profits. Functions of commercial banks include primary functions and secondary functions. Commercial banks accept deposits from the public and lend this money to companies and other people for investment projects. The banks offer interests on deposits to the deposit holders. Deposits are broadly classified into demand deposits, which are payable by the banks on demand from the account holder, and time deposits, which have a fixed period to maturity. After keeping a certain portion of the deposits as reserves, the bank gives the balance to borrowers in the form of loans and advances. The rate at which banks lend out their reserve to investors is called the lending rate. Lending by commercial banks consists mainly of cash credit, demand and short-term loans to private investors and banks. Secondary functions of commercial banks include transfer of funds from one place to another, collection of funds on behalf of the customers, purchasing and selling shares and debentures on behalf of the customers, providing income tax consultancy, paying bills and insurance premium as per customer's direction, providing traveler's check and letter of credit facility. A commercial bank is a creator of money in the economy. It is assumed that all the money that goes out of banks is redeposited into the banks. Cash reserve ratio is the minimum fraction of the total deposits with the commercial banks, which they are required to keep with the central bank. Suppose the cash reserve ratio or CRR is 20%. Further assume that Bank A receives a primary deposit of Rs 10,000. Bank A will keep 20% of Rs 10,000 that is Rs 2,000 as reserve and will lend out the balance Rs 8,000 to the borrowers. People who receive Rs 8,000 from Bank A will either spend the amount on goods or pay to the creditors the money will eventually come back to the banking system, say in Bank B. After keeping a reserve of Rs 1,600, which is 20% of Rs 8,000, Bank B will lend out the balance Rs 6,400 to the borrowers. Those who receive Rs 6,400 from Bank B will spend the amount. Thus again, the money will come back to the banking system, say in Bank C. After keeping a reserve of Rs 1,280, which is again 20% of Rs 6,400, Bank C will lend out the balance, that is Rs 5,120 to the borrowers. This process of deposit turning into loan or investment, which again becomes a new deposit, goes on until the primary deposit of Rs 10,000 is completely exhausted. The total of all the deposits resulting from the primary deposit will be 5 times of Rs 10,000. Given the primary deposit and the CRR, the total money creation can be estimated as… Now let's recap. A commercial bank is a financial institution engaged in the business of accepting deposits from the public and advancing loans to other people in order to earn profits. Primary functions of commercial banks, accepting deposits, advancing loans. Secondary functions of commercial banks, agency functions, general utility services. Cash reserve ratio or CRR is the minimum fraction of the total deposits with the commercial banks, which they are required to keep with the central bank. A commercial bank is a creator of money in the economy.